Can't do that with a Glock. Maybe not the best choice for everybody in their everyday carry, but it's way better than wishing you had a gun with you. Um, a single action revolver, much more effective than harsh words. I just want to start out by saying there's no one hammer for every job. Um, and there's no one gun for every a young fella asked me the other day, he goes, can you carry a single action revolver as your everyday carry gun? And obviously the answer is yes, you can carry whatever you want. Um, there's a lot of arguments against it. And there's arguments for it. Um, you know, the, 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 the first rule of a gunfight is have a gun. So if you've got a single action revolver, you're at least met that criteria. Um, like I said with the hammers, is there one gun that's like the best gun to ever, you know, for every purpose? No. But there are certain purposes that you want to have a single action revolver, you know. And they do look kind of cool. Um, this is my Ruger Blackhawk. Um, it's in a Bianchi. We used to say Bianchi back home. But this is a Bianchi uh, 1L Lawman holster. And I've got a Bianchi belt. Um, this is not a quick draw rig. If you're out in the woods, this is the kind of, this is the kind of rig you'd be, you'd be wearing. It's going to hold your gun close to your hip. It's going to hold the gun in tight. Um, and it is a single action revolver. I started carrying single action revolvers about 30 years ago. I was, that was the, when I turned 21, the first gun I bought was the Ruger Blackhawk. Um, so I have a lot of time shooting it. I'm very comfortable with it. When I do carry, I will often carry a Ruger Blackhawk and 357 Magnum. That's my go-to gun. When I travel, when I'm out, um, that's the first gun I grab. Now, there are purposes. Now, if I'm going to expect zombies to come, I'm not going to carry a single action revolver. That's where I've got in my double stack, you know, 45. Uh, there's, there's, that's what that gun is for. This gun's for if I'm going to go hiking in the woods and I expect to see a wild pig or maybe a black bear or a mountain lion, this is going to be my gun. Um, and I could probably use it for deer if I get close enough. This is my utility gun. Um, it's not a special, not a special gun. This is my all around single action. Um, let me give you a close up, show you what my rig is like. If you saw my last video, you saw I had, was shooting Magnum and they're all single action revolvers, but they're all Magnum rounds. Um, but this is how I'll carry my, my Ruger Blackhawk. This is that Bianchi 1L Lawman, um, holster. It's a, it's a leather holster. It's not a quick draw holster. It's not a bucket. It actually fits very, very snugly in there. We'll see that we are unloaded. But this is a very stiff, it's shaped, formed to fit that Ruger Blackhawk. Um, and if I was to carry, say, a longer barrel gun, and I'm looking to carry my, my six and a half inch, my six and a half inch barreled Blackhawk, I have the 1L Lawman holster that goes with that. If I'm just out popping beer cans or if I'm just doing a little target shooting or I want to shoot squirrels, I've got my, my Ruger single six with its, with its matching holster. Yes, I do like that 1L Lawman style and I do like that, the way it fits those Ruger revolvers. Um, like I said, this is my go-to gun and you're asking why would, why would somebody carry a single action revolver when there's so many other guns, there's so many other options. What would force a man to, to limit himself to a very slow loading, very slow to load, very slow to reload single action revolver? So you're asking, John, why would you carry a Ruger Blackhawk when there's so many other guns? You know, you can look at, you know, whether the 9mm or 40 Smith & Wesson or 45 ACP, why would you not carry one of those? Um, there's times where I just like, well, for one, I like the look I like the look of that and that leather holster, leather belt, and that nice white grip. I did put that on myself. Um, I do like I do like the feel of that single action revolver. Um, just just feels really good in my hand. But for one, I do like that 357 Magnum. Um, I shoot a pretty stiff uh, hand load. Um, I shoot the solid a solid cast uh, lead bullet um, at a pretty good velocity. And if I'm going to shoot a wild pig or if I want penetration. I can't get that with a nine millimeter. Um, it's just a much bigger bullet at a much higher velocity. Nine millimeter can't keep up. That's one reason why I'd want to have this single action revolver. Um, 
other things, you know, like say, hey, you're a guy with just one gun as a single action, hey, carry that. Um, you know, why else would I want to have it? It's very, very safe to have, okay? I can operate this with, with one hand. Um, if I did have a misfire, the hammer drops and it doesn't go boom. I can pull the hammer back. The, that cylinder rotates, the hammer's gonna come down on a new chamber, new round, fresh round, okay? There's no jamming. If I had a jam with an automatic, I'm gonna need a second hand to clear it. Well, this is a one-handed operation. Um, that may be an advantage. You know, if I fire one or two rounds, I can kick them empty uh, casings out and load one or two more rounds. So I'm always walking around with a full six. Uh, that's, you know, no, I'm not topping off. I'm not, it's not a tactical reload. I'm not going to ever match the capacity of a nine millimeter, but at least I can ca carry six all the time. Um, let me look at my list here um, <laughs> for other reasons why you'd want a single action revolver. Uh, one, these have very, very nice sights. Um, it's, these are target adjustable sights. The other thing is, once that hammer is cocked, all right, that trigger pull on a single action revolver is very, very crisp, very, very short. Um, if I want to shoot accurately, if I want to shoot for precision, that single action trigger is going to allow me to shoot probably a little bit better than a, a double action pull or even a single action on, on automatic. Um, so for our, 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 our uh, let's see, accurate fire, I think this is probably a better way to go. You know, so I've got a very accurate, very big, very heavy, very fast magnum round. Like I said, nine millimeters can't keep up. Um, the, you know, uh, I think some people like the single action just for the looks. You know, if you're wearing, you got your starch jeans and your cowboy boots and you've got your fancy belt, it would look silly, I think, with anything, anything else. You know, especially if you want to carry a, a Colt in that big, that big 45 caliber. Um, when I was when I was living in Montana, where I, I grew up in Montana, the 44 Magnum probably would have been my choice if I was in bear country. I'm on the West Coast now. I don't need anything bigger than a 357 Magnum. I'm not going to see a grizzly, um, so 357 Magnum is going to be going to be more than more than adequate. Um, but if you do want to carry a single action revolver, this one is pretty heavy. What I did is I took this and. I, uh, I swapped out that, 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 uh, the alloy grip frame and the alloy ejector tube, and I put steel tube on, I put a steel grip frame. This is a very heavy revolver, so it soaks up recoil really nice. Um, it's fun to shoot. Um, I, put that, I put that Bisley uh, hammer on, um, I, I did some trigger work, I put the white outline sights on it. Yes, I was an Elmer Keith fan, and this was my budget number five. Um, but if you do want to carry a single action revolver, um, you'll need a stiff belt. I, I like that Bianchi, um, their, holst their, uh, their holster belt. It's a double thickness belt. It's very stiff. It's not flexible. You don't want a flexible belt. You don't want to be tugging and having that holster sag off to the side. Um, I like to carry my holster just in front of your side belt loop. Um, that way I can still sit down in the car or get in the pickup um, without that, that holster sticking me in the, in the, in the back. Um, like I said, if the zombies were coming, would this be my choice? Oh, God, no. But if I think I'm going to have to shoot a deer or a wild pig or a two-legged um, creature, uh, this, would, this would be certainly, I don't need 15 rounds. You know, one or two is going to probably take care of any situation I'm going to get. You know, I'll tell you right up front, I'm not a drug dealer. I don't do drugs. I don't hang out with drug dealers. So I don't, I'm not in a high crime area. Um, I don't go out clubbing at night. I don't go walking down dark alleys. Um, you know, I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in bed by 10. But when I am out and I do anticipate, you know, tr if I was to anticipate trouble, I'm bringing my rifle. Um, but anything else, I'm carrying a single action revolver. Well, there you go. Um, nice stiff belt. You got a nice custom fit holster. You got a nice big caliber. Um, and if I do need to carry extra rounds, I got a nice belt slide. Um, you know, so I've got extra ammo if I'm gonna be out shooting for the, you know, for the afternoon, I can carry extra ammo on my belt so my hands are free. Um, that nice holster, and that's always reassuring having that big 357 Magnum right next to you. If you've got a single action revolver, don't be afraid to carry it. Don't feel like you're undergunned. Um, it's better, it's better, better to have a, single action than have wishing you had something.
you know, uh, single action revolver, it's a lot better than harsh words or throwing rocks at somebody. See you in the next video.